Welcome to another episode of Pairings. Hi. This is Kathleen, the Vanna White to my Pat Sajak. And she's presenting a product today for us to review. Two products, actually, and that's what makes it a pairing. The first is Kadahu. Is that how you say it? Kadahu. I said it right? First yes, try? Yes, it's really good. Kadahu. It has a bear on it. It says four apostrophe six. I guess that means 4.6 alcohol, right? Yes, I have a question. Do you, would, could you guess what Kadahu means? Bear. Thank you. <laughs> so, can you say that word right there? That's, that's not something you have to try to say. Paita. Pait. I don't know how to say that. Paita Oluta. Yeah, this is one I wouldn't be able to say. Ah, do you know what it means? Tauta Oluta. Something like that. It's and this I... word right, right there. If you can see that, it's kind of blurry. It's hard for me to focus it, too because I can't really press the screen from where I'm at <coughs> to make it focus. There, uh, I did it for a minute. There, but yeah. okay. Uh, I don't know what that means. It's uh, something about beer. Something beer or well, something. We're going to see, we're gonna put this to the test and uh, I can't read you any of the ingredients because it's not in English, so I wouldn't know what to do here. But this is 33 CL, and we still haven't figured out what... Do we know what CL means? The measurement? Cubic liters? Yeah, do we know what cubic liters means? Is it cubic no. liters? Woman over there? Oh, cubic so it is liters. cubic liters. I was right, right? That was my guess, is that yeah. it was cubic liters. And we were, like, laughing about it, the thought of cubic liters. Yeah, it sounded but, made up, like, because yeah, I, I did... Off the top of the head, I'm like, cubic liters. Yeah. All right, we're going to crack it open now. We're going to do the, the ASMR uh, segment of this show, which is the opening of the can. And it's just a classic opening. It sounds like... It didn't do this that the weird, sandals one. Yeah, that weird little high-pitched sound last time. Yeah. So we're going to taste the beer first, right, before yes. we... Pair it with the other item we have today. Cheers. Cheers to keep, 2022, right? Uh, keep, keep peace. Keep peace. I don't know why I always forget that. Keep peace. And it's New Year's Eve. To end a great year that 2022 was, and to cheers the next year of the year of our Lord, 2023, which will be in a few hours here at the making of this video. What do you think? I like it. I like the presentation. I really like the the way that the color of it, you know, the black and the I gold. I do too. Yeah, black and the gold. White, white text. Yeah, the colors go really well together. It's uh, a sexy it's, can. It is. It looks strong, right? It looks yeah. like a strong can that could probably hold more, a little, possibly, uh, Four or five more CL than it actually has in it. Mm -hmm. it I, I believe that it's capable of uh, holding it's a little strong. bit more. I agree. All right, now we're going to pair it with... It has something called Sisu. I, or is it Susi? What was Susi? it again? Was it Sisu or Susi? Yeah. This beer does? Sisu. Yeah, grit. Oh, it has grit. I think that's what that meant. It has true grit. True grit. Like the John Wayne film. And like all the Finns. And the Jeff Bridges Coen Brothers remake. Yes. From uh, 20, whatever that was. 2010, I think. Mm -hmm. All right. So this dessert, what is the name of this dessert, Kathleen? Yolu Tortu. Present this to the camera, if you will. Please ignore Close my up. nails. Uh, there, there's no, there's half color on each one. <laughs> That's how. That's the style of her nails. She has them painted that way. Yes, I do it on purpose. Half color. I ask close my. All the way to the, I ask my um, like show manicurist the, or whatever they're called to do it that way. 
All right, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and this, the name of this thing? Yolu Tortu. Yolu Tortu. I think it means, Yolu means this Christmas. Correct, Finn over there? I am a Finn yes. too. Okay, thank you. And then Tortu means tart? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yolo tortilla. I'm just guessing. And as an American, I called it Yolo tortilla. Yolo tortilla. Uh, we should point out mine is darker than yours because this one has some sort of dark jam. Yeah, grape jelly. Prune. It's prune. Prune. Which I may say, in a previous video, we mixed uh, cranberry with the vodka, cranberry juice with the vodka. Perfect for UTIs. This one, perfect for constipation. Nice. We got something that covers every <laughs> bodily fluid and yes. bowel movement and everything you would need. And what is, the, that's one some apple cinnamon stuff. That's for the thumbnail. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Ding, ding. Hmm. I haven't tried this flavor yet, but I like it already. And now we're going to pair it with the karhu. <laughs> I'm going to make you cry tonight <laughs> with laughter and love. What do you think? I don't know if this pairs so well together. This probably would have <laughs> went better with coffee. Maybe even with wine it would have been better. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh keep keep these. These. <laughs> we have some coffee drinkers over here in, in our yep. neck of the woods. We wanted to drink alcohol. We really... <laughs> we, there's... Perfect, a perfectly good pot of coffee right over there. It's ten steps away, <laughs> but we needed to do alcohol because that's uh, usually the tradition here on scroll sessions on pairings. Yes. And so, uh, I would say it's not bad. It just it doesn't complement each other. What do you think? Yeah, it's this is so sweet and <laughs> delicious, and oh, it's not too sweet though. I should say I like the kind of croissant. Croissant. Yeah, to it. the croissant quality, the crunchiness of it is really delicious. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite kind of pastry. See how it's flaky? So I think like anything... my dandruff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you're wearing gray tonight. Yeah. Um, the beer is too bitter with it, you know. Yeah, it kind of brings out the bitterness of the beer. <laughs> but the I would say these two items apart from each other are just fine. They're perfect. Mm -hmm. So we can have. I, oh, go ahead. Can I taste the apple? Yeah. You want to taste that? One? Sure. Which like one do you it. like better out of these two things? The uh, constipation kicker. <laughs> the prune. The prune. Mm -hmm. This you, is really good though. If you do you like, like apple... it because it helps constipation or do you like the favorite? The... <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a concussion. I can't speak that well. <laughs> um, That's terrible. <laughs> do you like it for the flavor or because of the constipation killing effect? I like it for the flavor. I like that there's an added unintended consequence to it but I like the flavor I like this too but if I have to choose it would be that but I should try it with the beer mm. right but yeah pair it with the beer I would say I didn't see much difference with this so you, you but know, I noticed the bitterness less with this pairing I don't know yeah I think beer the beer if you're gonna do beer with your Christmas tart um, do the prune, uh, sauce. <laughs> yeah. But if you really want to give yourself the runs, do the, 
the prune <laughs> one with the beer. Which one? Which one do you prefer, though? Or did you already answer that question? With the beer? No, just alone. I don't know. I like that one a lot. Oh, okay, you want to switch? Uh, yeah. Let's switch. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. So, what do you think? Did we cover this subject adequately? This uh, pairing? Mm -hmm. I don't know the history of this. All I know is that it's kind of a traditional um, dessert. Would this be considered a, yeah, I guess a dessert. I've got some, we've got like our audience here nodding. Mm. It's a dessert, thumbs up. So <clears throat> it's a traditional dessert of Finland and it's shaped as a star. Mm -hmm. It's like a Christmas tradition. I like the star. I like the shape of it. It was good. Mm -hmm. You sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar over it. it. And it seems like it would be good also with uh, the cheese Danish. Whatever they use for the cheese Danish. <laughs> laughing at the flake on your beard. Oh, no. I think, did I get it? I think I got it. Huh? I got it. <laughs> Um, if, if that had a cheese Danish filling <laughs> in the middle, I think that would oh. work too. That would be pretty delicious as well. Oh, and I feel like there is some sort of Finnish dessert that has something like that, but I'm going to have to refer to the experts about that off camera yeah. or on camera. I don't know. <laughs> is there anything like that over there? Blink twice if it's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we may be doing a uh, episode four point five or four point one, mm -hmm. right? Four point oh. This is episode four of pairings. Mm -hmm. We might come back with uh, maybe our own. Uh, experimentation with this dessert, right? Mm. Our own YOLO tortilla, yeah, so to speak. I like that idea. So, these are since these are in the shot, we could explain these two to bring a little bit more of the Finnish culture to you guys. This is a, a present I got for Christmas, and this, these little characters, like right here, remind me of lawn gnomes. But in Finland, they're called Tontu. Tontu. <laughs> excuse me. You're excused. <laughs> is there is there like a story behind these guys? Like there a probably traditional... is. There probably is. I do know that my uncle created a very special uh, Tontu exhibit for the Pori Art Museum. And uh, it was very magical. I don't know if they still do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, they still do it. And um, it's really amazing. And there's just all kinds of these tontus all around. And you can walk through it. And, and there's, there's supposed to be elves, right? Yes. Kind of. Kind of. So they, mom. They're probably, uh, this, they're probably the same type of whimsical character as the lawn gnome that we have in America and probably probably that, that character probably exists in many countries I think people yeah. uh, that take psychedelics see these things probably in the forest like, they said you know I've heard people talk about that if they do like DMT or something or, or a, I don't know if, if somebody would see that on mushrooms but they said they see they describe Things like this, and like it's sitting from a tree. Hey, whoa! I think that it's 9.30. We are alerted to the changes of hours at all times in this yes. country. Yeah. Every house Every has a hour. grandfather clock. Yeah, and, and then in city centers, or cities, there's the, if I remember correctly, unless that's just a dream, um, I believe the churches ring their bells every hour or every oh, okay. 30 minutes. They still do that. At least when I lived in Turku, we would kind of know what time it is based off of what the church That's nice. was telling us. 
yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's a soothing sound. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, you would think, I mean, like the cell phone has all these notifications and at all times of the day now, it's just nonstop notifications. Uh, so uh, something from the old times like this is kind of soothing. Yeah, definitely. And it, it reminds you of, uh, you're only being alerted every hour notification every hour instead of like every second of the day yeah with nonsense too with your friend sending you uh, a meme or, or some useless video that you you're not gonna watch like something that your friend is into right and they send that video to you of, of a, a video of something they're into yeah and and i ask myself why am i getting this video <laughs> so i i often don't respond to those because, uh, and I think uh, you guys watching at home, don't respond to your friend's uh, messages when they're <laughs> just memes. You know, it's nothing, you're, it's not something your friend created, so you don't need to support it. It's not something you're into, so you don't need to respond to it. It's just a thing to waste your time. And oh, uh, we're running out of battery here, <laughs> so we're going to wrap up the video. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for being here with us and getting to the end of the video and seeing our our uh, our flavor experience expanding across the world. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Remember to be kind to yourself so that you can learn how to be kind to others. Goodbye. Bye.